Hey, I'm Ted Vieira. Last week I made a video talking about uh, my favorite features on the uh, Fujifilm X100F, the, the new additions that Fuji had added since the X100T. In that video, I had some accessories on the camera, and I did get some comments and questions about the accessories. So I thought this week I'll just do a short video and talk about my favorite must-have accessories for the Fujifilm X100F. So my first most favorite accessory for the X100F is the the hinge thumb rest from LensMate, LensMateOnline.com. Uh, I love this accessory so much because just like with the X Pro 2, they, uh, you know, with that, com that combined ISO ring shutter speed dial, <laughs> which I love, um, LensMate made a hinge thumb rest uh, so you can easily pull the thumb rest back, make your ISO change, make your shutter speed change and flip it back into place. I love this accessory. I use it a lot, especially with the X-Pro2. So the next accessory I want to talk about is the soft shutter release button. And this is also from LensMade. It's the, they're the metal ones. <laughs> I got the lizard. That's the one I chose. Um, you know, the first time I got one of these, I bought it for my original X100. And my motivation was, they look so cool. I thought it just looked great. I thought it gave the camera a real vintage look. And I loved the way it looked. But after shooting with these for just a short period of time, man, I realized that for me, I really like the way uh, the camera feels with these soft release buttons on. The shooting just feels so, that much smoother. Um, you know, I, I've also been trying out these... Uh, I think they're called Bloodwood. <laughs> that sounds rough, but they're from Artisan Obscura. And man, these buttons just feel great too. So check out both these and see, you know, which one might work best for you. Okay, this next accessory I want to talk about is just the lens hood that Fuji makes for the uh, X100 series. And it's the LH X100 lens hood. Now you can get these at Amazon, you can get them at B&H, pretty much everywhere that you can buy Fuji stuff. And the cool thing, you know, I bought this back when I first had my original X100. And the cool thing for you guys, if you don't have one yet, I think they've come down considerably in price. I can't remember how much I paid for this when I first got it, but I know it's more than, than what they're going for now. I think because of the uh, third party kind of knockoff uh, versions of this that were essentially the same, same build quality, they just didn't have Fujifilm written, uh, written on them. So yeah, you can get the original ones. I think they're about 50, 60 bucks. But check, check on the prices for the, uh, the third party brands too, because you probably can get those for still much cheaper. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this, the camera strap. It's from Dead Cameras, deadcameras.com, if you want to check those guys out. Uh, it's just called the Slim Strap. It is a very thin strap, and the, uh, the padded parts are made from very high-quality, handcrafted leather. The uh, actual strap itself is made from very strong, durable leather. And it's got kind of a nice, um, sharp edge to it, because I love to wrap it around my wrist. It gives me that much more control over the camera. It makes it very easy to carry the camera all day long and feel like, yeah, I know I'm not going to drop it. So the last accessory I want to talk about today is the teleconversion lens. It's the uh, TCL X100 teleconversion lens from Fujifilm. And you can pick it up pretty much anywhere you can get uh, Fujifilm accessories. This is a beautiful lens. And by putting it on this camera, it converts it to pretty much you're shooting with a 50 millimeter focal length. So for me, that makes this camera almost a perfect system because I love 35 millimeter and I love 50 millimeter. Those are the two focal uh, lengths that I probably use the most. Um, this is great for portraiture. And I showed, uh, I think, some of these shots in the last video of a photo shoot I did 
back in December with Yuli, and I did take a few shots with the X100 with that TCL X100 conversion lens on there. Beautiful image quality. I love what this camera does with this conversion lens. Someone asked me if the image quality, you know, suffers at all when you put the teleconversion lens on the TCL. And no, because when I first got it for the X100T, I did some testing with it. I think I've got a video on that. Um, if you want to search through my <laughs> videos, it was quite a while ago. But yeah, no, beautiful image quality. I'll do another video with the X100F and uh, show you some image samples and just the kind of cool stuff you can do. Such a beautiful combination. This camera with this lens. Gorgeous stuff. <laughs> okay. These are my favorite must-have uh, accessories for the Fujifilm X100F or really any of the uh, X100s. Um, I, I I wouldn't want to have the camera without them. I love the thumb grip, the thumb rest. I love the uh, soft shutter release button. I love the little lens hood. I love my strap. I love these straps are on all my cameras. And the conversion lens, man, beautiful. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, that's all my love for the accessories for the Fujifilm X100F. I'm Ted Vieira. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer anything I can. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Hey, I forgot to mention, I started a podcast recently, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, it's over at photographymatterspodcast.com. Photographymatterspodcast.com. I'll put a link down in the description, plus links to all the accessories that I talked about here. But it's, it's a podcast that I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of sharing thoughts, tips, talking about your website for your photography, film, digital, um, just concepts, inspiration, motivation, that kind of stuff. As the show develops, you know, I hope to uh, maybe interview other photographers or other artists that you guys might find interesting. So photographymatterspodcast.com. Um, it's not going to be an overly structured uh, podcast. You know how we're, you know, most podcasts you listen to right now, they have a day, right? Like they come out on Tuesday or this podcast puts out a new episode every Thursday or maybe every two weeks or once a month, that kind of thing. Uh, this won't be that structured. I kind of want to have it loose and more free so that when I have a thought and something I want to talk about, man, I can just put out an episode. And that must, that might mean that you might get like three episodes one week or two episodes or four episodes. You might see stuff, uh, something new every day for a while. I think with this way, or, you know, you might see something every two weeks. You never know. But I think with this kind of setup and this lack of structure, you'll actually get more content. And because you might get like three episodes in a week, they might only be two minutes or five minutes. I think the average ones are running about 10 minutes right now. Not extremely long. They might get longer. Uh, it just depends on how much I have to say on, on any given subject. Uh, as the show develops, I'd like to start interviewing other photographers, uh, other artists, people that you might find interesting. So, okay. Photographymatterspodcast.com. Photographymatterspodcast.com. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.